Good luck. Lag coats and a table full of things I can't pronounce. It can only mean one thing, a demonstration. Today, we're looking at some of the most wondrous materials on Earth, gathered from sheds, labs and grottos around the world, and all of them from the Materials Library at the University College London. And uh, talking us through this incredible stuff is the co-founder, Zoe Laughlin. And welcome. Lovely welcome. to see you. So, Hello. you have to explain what this institute is. Where do you get this stuff from and who are you guys, the, the, uh, the dealers of magic? Yeah, we are a... Motley crew who are ranging from material scientists, designers, artists, engineers, anthropologists, archaeologists, very interdisciplinary. But what binds us together is a love of stuff and the amazing things that materials can do and what you can do with them. Is there uh, new stuff coming along all the time? All the time, yeah. It's a daily discovery. Sort of discovery oh, I want to be in your gang. Will you show us some of it now? <laughs> I will. So I've brought a few things along. Kay. The first is hydrophobic sand. So this is literally a sand that's afraid of water. Hydrophobic. Um, they should go and see the Speakmans. So, if I now tip this Well, then this it wouldn't sand, be an item, then, would <laughs> it? It's cured. Just be sand. I can uh, tip this into water and watch what this does. So, instead of just falling to the bottom, it will first of all sink on oh! the top and then produce these little worms. So, the sand is clumping together to try and get the least of it touching the water as possible. Look at that. And what would you... What's that good for? What's well, good this is a pure example of the, just the simple fun of materials. This I see, is I see. This is the sort of thing that you'd find as a child's toy. Oh, and then it all comes back together. It's completely dry again when you lift it out. Oh, I'll just show wow. that to the camera. That's incredible. So that, that is... sand, it has a special coating on it, which makes it, you know, try and get away from the water. Is it the same sort of coating that Can you'd have yeah, on... So. Um... Oh, look, there's little bits of water in yeah. there, which it won't... Gosh, On waterproof so clothing, is it? Exactly, that sort, of... that sort of thing, yeah. So your high-end waterproof jacket would have this sort of thing sprayed on it. But you could make a version at home by simply coating sand with the wax, and it should do something similar. Similar thing. How do you coat yeah. sand with wax? Well, you don't, yeah, it would be difficult. You'd have you to put scientists the sand... think you can do everything. <laughs> Get the sand in the wax, take it out, and then crumble the wax... Uh, uh, crumble the sandy wax apart to make it granular again. Ooh, be yes. very careful. Expect if I did it, it wouldn't be quite as spectacular <laughs> as that. OK. So Let's that's the hydrophobic sand. Next one? Well, the next one, this is a shape memory metal, so a shape memory alloy, a material that has a memory. So this is a metal that inside it, down at a scale we can't see, this metal has crystals. So all metals are made up of crystals, but yeah. these crystals are very specific. If you bend the wire, like any old little bit of wire, mm -hmm. it bends back and forwards. So you'd never know this was special wire? No, no, it looks just like any ordinary wire. Yep. But these crystals, if you give them energy, they'll start moving. So if I give it energy in the form of heat, mm -hmm. they'll transform. I'll show you what will happen. Pile up the blade torch. Maybe from above, yep. Oh, no, no way! <laughs> What? So it was a paperclip the whole time. A very special paperclip. A paperclip with a memory. Do it again, do it again. Okay, I've got some more. I knew you'd want... Oh, who doesn't want to see that again? <gasps> right. I can't believe that it just did that. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> You're like Yuri Geller, but in reverse. But it's real. What it's is exactly this stuff clever. we can hardly see here? This is aerogel. So aerogel? This is a material which is one of the lightest solids in the world. So it's developed by NASA for catching stardust. They take it up into space. <gasps> it's developed by NASA for catching stardust. It's a poem, isn't it? And it's blue for the same reasons that the sky is blue. It's not a pigment, like your shirt's pink because you've got a pink pigment. This is to do with how light is scattered as it passes through the stuff. So it's like solid sky. Exactly, yeah. I mean, you can hold a bit if you promise can to I? be careful. Yeah. It, what, it, what will happen if... Why it explode? <laughs> <laughs> think of it like Can an I just incredibly it delicate meringue. I'll place it on your hand. Okay. But if you do that, it's just going. Pfft, I won't. Dust. I won't. I won't. I won't. Okay. Promise. So oh gosh. Okay. Very gently. <gasps> You're touching oh my sky. Goodness, I'm holding a piece of sky. Hold on a second. I've got to get my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so beautiful. So it's sort of there and not there simultaneously. And this is pretty much as light as stuff as you can hold in your hand. That's not a gas. How is it made? I don't want to breathe too no, much no. in case I blow it Shall up. I put it down in case yes, you please, could you please, could yeah, you please. I can sense a disaster coming on. And it would just disintegrate into nothing? Yeah, into a sort of fine dust. Think of it like a meringue. You start with a liquid mix and you put air in it and then you evaporate out the moisture so you're left with a solid foam structure. But so the how foam, do they get the stardust out of it once it's caught? They, it? they don't want to get it out. They keep it trapped inside and then they look at it under a microscope. Oh, I see. And this is like a kind of 
little nest for it to sit in, keep it safe. It's a stardust nest. <laughs> This is right I so know, far up I your know. street. Really <laughs> your house should be made out of that. Yes, please. I'm well, they're actually this. looking at making insulation out of this because this is fantastically thermally insulative. It's better than air. So we're looking at using it in houses and as, as an architectural oh. insulator and panel. Okay, oh, next up. Sky. Right, next yes. up, we What's have this? a fruit bowl made of uranium glass. So this is oh. glass that has uranium in it is in order to give it a specific colour. Radioactive? Color. Yeah, is that not dangerous? It is radioactive, but just very small amounts. It's, okay. it's safe. But the, your, the uranium gives it this specific colour, but it also causes it to fluoresce. So that's the phenomenon of giving something ultraviolet light and okay. then it giving Let's you dim the light. light. So I'll turn these UV tubes on, then you'll start to see the green. Oh, wow. Hang on. There we go. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? But other things fluoresce too. So tonic water, for example, also fluoresces. The yes. quinine, the quinine in tonic. I don't know if we can see that at all. We're going blue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the blue colour is to do with the quinine fluorescing, and the green colour in this glass is the uranium fluorescing. Next Beautiful. one. Next. So this is this is a really good example of when you said materials being invented all the time. Yeah. This is one of our most recent acquisitions. Okay. This is gecko tape, um, which is a type of tape that isn't sticky if you put one of your cards on there for example yeah it just yeah oh sorry full straight off yeah yeah it doesn't stick. but it does stick to certain materials so if you've got a phone or something I maybe do. with some glass on it maybe do you face want the down, glass face glass down glass face down oh please please let it drop <gasps> <Ta -da>! ah! <laughs> And how sticky is that gecko tape? Well, you may now struggle to get that off. Oh, marvellous. <laughs> you just have to walk around with that. Hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Oh, that's really very sticky. Oh, and that's the stuff. That's the so stuff that we've got over here. We can yeah. stick Mulhern to the ceiling. We've made a special Why rig. Why am I the guinea pig for this? Because oh, don't be dark. Of course you are. <laughs> uh, expendable. Shall I, <laughs> shall I stick it on? Yeah, yeah, stick it on. Shove it straight up. Nice and hard. Go on, really push hard. Yep. And you're telling me this is going to hold my weight? It should do. If no, this does, it's live oh telly. God. Can your muscles hold your weight? That's more of the question. What does it okay. feel? Oh. Jet, stick it up hard. Oh I am. Really what? push. I don't know if it's going to work. We have a saying in science, if it works, oh it's God. chemistry. If it doesn't work, it's physics. But I think, <laughs> oh, go, go, go. Oh, oh no, it's not going to work. Well, if it it's, works, this is science. It's become really big. Do you know we what wanted to do this off an, over a huge drop as well. <laughs> okay, I don't one think more it's going to work. One more go. Oh, God. I think it's as much as... It's oh. you know it's close we'll enough, though. Keep practising. We'll stick it on the website when it works Yeah, later. we'll do it. We'll, we'll it sort that later. <laughs> oh, God. I'll Thank put a bit more much. tape on. I love the... Uh, the, the uh, what's that called again? Solid... The Aerogel. Aerogel's the solid sky. my favourite. Wonderful. The Institute of Making open on the last Saturday of every month. Yes. And the admission is free. It's free. Have you got lots of this stuff? We'd have thousands of materials. Will you please come back and come do back. some more? Of course. We love you. You have an open invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Absolutely you. stunning. Thank you. Right, if you want to find out more about all of this, then go to the website straight after the break. He's still trying to stick himself up there. Uh, Rod Stewart's on his album and career. He's here and uh, also uh, talking about cutting the hair of Rolling Stones, <laughs> Ronnie Wood. That is really distracting. Do you know that? <laughs> See you after the break. <laughs> See you in a minute. Oh. Ah! <laughs>